Hello there, my friends, and today I'm here with a little bit unusual haul for me. I went to Austin, Texas last week, and in grand total I spent there less than 48 hours, so I didn't have enough of video material to make ivory diaries or anything like that. I did film Come Thrifting With Me video, which you might have seen already by the time this video comes out. If you haven't already, you should definitely check it out. But today I'm here to show you some other cool items I found while I was in Austin. They're not from thrift stores, they're from different interesting local stores. I got a lot of goodies to show you, so let's just get started. And I think I will start with a small gift shop, which is called the Burlap Bag. It is a store which sells different crafts from local artists, exactly what I was looking for while I was there. This is my favorite way of purchasing souvenirs and mementos, getting to know the city even better. They're not as common as regular souvenir shops. The Burlap Bag was pretty much everything I hoped and dreamed for, so if you are ever going to visit Austin, Texas, you should definitely check it out. First of all, they are making their own candles there. As soon as you enter the store, it smells so incredible. I even asked the seller which candle it smells like because I wanted to purchase that particular one. He said that because they're making all these candles there all the time, it is basically this Frankenstein smell. So I just had to sniff around a little bit. I enjoyed that, but they have so many different amazing smells. It was impossible to even narrow down to just one. I got this bossy pants candle. It is such a pleasant aroma. It consists of citrus, coconut and cardamom. I can definitely smell a mix of citrus and coconut. I am not so sure what cardamom smells like. If you live in Austin, you can actually purchase a punch card, get a free candle as far as I understood when you purchase 10 of them or something like that. Next thing I got there was this hand soap and it is called cashmere and Coco by brand Salty Lemon Apothecary. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's this dark brown color with rose petals in it. When I smelled it, I couldn't part with it anymore. It smells so, so good. I'm such a sucker for tasty, sweet smells. Usually I'm not really using soaps like that a lot. I'm hoping that when we move to our new place, I'll have a better bathroom setup and I'll be able to use this kind of soaps more often. I also got a bunch of knickknacks and gifts for Paul. He has been working both of those days on his conference and I just hated the fact that he is not there to experience the same things I'm experiencing. That is basically one of the main reasons why I went shopping instead of going to art galleries and museums. Usually I like to go to those places to experience the city. I did not want to experience that without him at all. We're definitely planning to do that next time we're there. We were driving straight from Austin to Minnesota on the way back and on every longish stop I would give him one present. And one of the things I got for him was this Wild Warrior Sore Muscle Rub by the brand called Humble Bee Botanicals. Very cute, a little teen. It smells really good. It reminds me of the Tiger Balm, of course. I just imagine they have some common ingredients there because they just have to have them. He has been suffering from some sore neck and some sore wrists. So we're going to see how this balm helps, but I imagine it's going to work pretty good. I got myself a really cute little keychain that looks like this moon and a star. It doesn't really have any tag with a designer on it, unfortunately. And I like it as a keychain a lot and I might even put it in my backpack at some point. Currently, I was actually thinking to put it on one of my hoop earrings. Actually, why don't we do this right now? Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. I got us both these adorable stickers for a laptop or whatever. I got myself this one. Kitty looks like a deer and it says butts. I got this one for Paul. It says cat loaf activated, which is exactly what we say when our big kitty becomes a loaf and just snaps like that. I'll probably try and leave her Etsy store in the description below. The last thing I got there was this really awesome gift for Paul. So what it is, is basically a unique strip of 35mm motion picture film that came from an actual movie reel. I got him the one from Star Wars from 1977. You can actually 
hold it up to the light and see it pretty well and you can choose which scene you want to have I picked the one where you can see a ship in a space using laser beams I thought that was a really cool effect that will be interesting to see on a 35 millimeter film he absolutely loved this we both had no idea that this is a thing and you can purchase this I think it's a really really cool gift for somebody who is a fan of Star Wars or they had a bunch of other movies is there actually as well. They had Harry Potter, they had Forrest Gump, Indiana Jones, The Wizard of Oz and others that I don't remember. And one more awesome thing about this store is that they give you unicorn matches for free. Look how cute these are. Love the style of these. Next I'm going to show you some things I picked up from local co-op. Purchasing some things from a co-op I think is my other favorite way to explore the place. First thing I picked up there was this coffee. The brand is called third coast coffee it looks like this I haven't tried it yet but I think it's awesome to try local coffee this one should have taste of marshmallow and chocolate and you can't go wrong with that the next thing I picked up is this bar of chocolate which is so absolutely gorgeous just look at the design the brand is called seriously chocolate a milk chocolate with coconut wait never mind it's actually just a coconut milk chocolate love coconut I love milk I love coconut milk. I'm really excited to try it. Paul likes dark chocolate more, so I ended up picking up some other tasty bars for him. But on the checkout, I actually found this tiny sample of seriously dark chocolate. I hope he will like it. Got him a couple of bars by Bearded Brothers. He loves energy bars. This is basically his go to breakfast mega maca chocolate. Fabulous ginger peach. Of course, these are local Austin bars. We'll try and see what they taste like. And the last bar I got was this Texas maple pecan. Really pretty and also sounds really tasty. The last thing I picked up from Cobb was this awesome cat toy. Looks like this. It's a four-link catnip toy. It's basically like textile sausages. And because our kitties were here alone while we were gone, they're fine, they're used to that. They're pretty independent, self-sufficient kitties. But I always feel bad leaving them anyway. At least Nika gets to hang out with our friend in the daycare. So I got them these. They absolutely love catnip, obviously. I'm super excited to see what crazy stuff they're going to do to this. Next store I went to was so exciting for me. Every time I'm traveling to another place, I'm always looking for a store just like that because inside I'm a five-year-old and I always will be. <laughs> this is a store called Toy Joy. It is amazing. I'm pretty sure I heard about it from Graveyard Girl, which I was hoping so much to meet while I was down there because she's not really living in Austin. I suppose my chances were pretty small, but two of the places that I went to were definitely inspired by her. First one is this Toy Joy store and the second store is Uncommon Objects. Picked up a couple items there that I'm going to show you after this. This Toy Joy store is a dream for a kid. It has so many different toys. Basically anything you can imagine. What I was imagining were Japanese toys, Japanese and Korean stationery. This is exactly what I found there. I basically felt like I finally had a trip to Japan that I'm dreaming of for a very long time. I picked up this cutie there. It is Pom Pom Purin. You probably all know him. It is a Sanrio character. As I realized while I was in a Toy Joy, this is my favorite character. They had Cinema Roll, they had Gutitama, they had Rilakkuma, Hello Kitty, Melody, like all of them. I gravitated towards Pom Pom Purin and I gravitated so hard that I picked up probably five different items with him. Just look at this beauty. It's not it. If you open this little pocket over here, he has a little friend. Absolutely in love with this toy and I'm going to treasure it forever. <laughs> of course I had to pick up these adorable pants with Pom Pom Purin. There we go. Look at these cuties. I also picked up these clips with him. You can see them over here. But I'll probably use them every time I fill in my planner, hold the pages because it's very convenient for that. I also picked up a very plain white 
Hello Kitty notebook. I'm not sure if you can see the symbols. Definitely fits my aesthetic. Pages are so silky smooth. Whoa. And it smells really good too. I love smell of fresh stationery or freshly printed books. Yeah, I didn't really need another notebook. I had another notebook that I purchased on a 7-Eleven gas station there. I'm going to show it to you too right now. I have a notebook problem, I admit it, but I do love writing my video ideas and plans and to-do lists, so that's what I'm using them for. Marble notebook with a rose gold heart on it. It is really cute, it is a hardcover. This might actually become my diary because I really wanted to have one for a while. This one will be perfect for that. Last stationery item I picked up was this pack of stickers. Stickers. I hope you can see them well. Absolutely love this brand of stickers, by the way, Sua Atelier. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it is a Korean brand and I'm mostly using their stickers in my planners. They have such an incredible designs. I also picked up one adorable toy for Paul and I know that he loves this character and that's why I could not leave him behind. Paul was actually so impressed, so excited that he kept playing with it all the way home, <laughs> putting him on different spots in our car, just like this character was appearing in different spots in the cartoons. Kodama from Princess Mononoke. He can do this. I don't know if you can see that. They also had a bunch of amazing blind boxes there and I wanted this one for so long. Sony Angel blind box. They had all different series there. I picked up this animal series because they have phone, reindeer and white bear there, but I didn't get any of those. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I still loved it. I don't regret getting it, but I might need some more of this. And look at this, it has wings. This animal is called Yuribu. Uribu? I don't know. When I googled it, it looked like a mix of a piggy and a bambi. If anybody knows what Uribu is for sure, let me know down below. I'm really curious about this animal. So yeah, as I mentioned, I did go to Uncommon Objects and it is an antique store that I heard about from Graveyard Girl because she goes there pretty frequently. I was so excited to see it with my own eyes and be in a place where she has been. Super fangirl, super freaky, but I can't help myself. Anyway, when they say that it's a pricey antique store, they definitely mean that. I wandered around for a while and I really didn't want to leave empty-handed. It did pick up a couple of things, definitely cheaper than everything else there. In my honest opinion, I think they're still pretty overpriced. But there's a lot of things to just look at. They sort items by color. Of course, my favorite stand was Ivory Stand. I filmed quite a lot of clips there, so I'm going to show you them all here. This way you can also travel with me to that super cool antique store. I definitely wish I had more cash to purchase all of the interesting things I found there, but it's totally fine. It just means that I will have to go there again next time I visit Austin. They wrapped it up very carefully and I'm going to open it right now. The thing I picked up is this brass deer figurine. You can even see spots on his back. I love the look of brass figurines and I want to have a lot of them in my studio when we move to our new place and especially deer figurines. I don't know if you remember it or not but I purchased brass deer couple before. This guy is definitely much more detailed. I think they're going to be really good friends and they're going to go on the shelf together. And I got one more thing in Uncommon Objects. It is a gorgeous pendant. It has this pattern from both sides. I was already going to the checkout. In front of the checkout they had a really tall unit with a bunch of drawers. Drawers were really narrow. Each of them had a tag, brooches, earrings, pins, blah blah blah. Nobody was looking at those drawers. I was really curious what this is all about, so I started pulling the drawers out and I saw that there's a bunch of stuff and I didn't see anything I liked. And I looked at the drawer that said pendants on it and something just hit me, you know, when you find something you really like. I don't 
know if it's silver, stainless steel, I have no idea. It reminded me of a desert and I know that Texas is not all completely desert, but they do have a desert in there and this is always what I was imagining since uh, I was a child, a desert in Texas, cowboy boots and stuff like that. <laughs> Even though it's not really obvious for anybody else, for me I will always remember that I picked it up in Texas and that it's a piece of desert that I can keep with me. I also wanted to show you the cars they have in Uncommon Objects. They're so freaking beautiful. And last two things I picked up on a gas station out of town. I am a magnet person, can't go to a place and not purchase a magnet. Found this beautiful one that says Texas on it and each letter has different images representing the state. And I also found this pretty stud earrings. They're this turquoise color crescent, I guess, shape. It had different shapes in there. I was really tempted to get cactus shapes because those are more like Texas souvenir, but I couldn't really imagine myself wearing those a lot. Definitely dig this shape, as you can tell. I might have lied to you, there is one more thing I wanted to show you. Spice that I actually got for Paul. I went to this place called Mad Greens for a lunch. I love this type of places where they mix you different salads or bowls. Everything is organic and just the food that makes you feel good. I picked a bowl and I think it was a spicy bacon bowl and they used this mad spice in there I decided that I had to grab it since they were selling it special secret recipe yes the secret is in adding chocolate extract to the spice both love cooking we both love experimenting with spices I think it's a really cool local thing to try these were all the things I brought back from Austin Texas I really hope you like this video and if you did don't forget to put likes click subscribe button and leave me comments down below Tell me if you have ever been to Austin yourself or if you would like to go or maybe you even live there and you want to hang out next time I visit. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Thank you so very much for watching. I feel great after talking to you. Bye!